Today we're doing break. Oh, not this one. Today we're doing breaks. One of the things you can't do yourself, no matter how handy you are, is put tires on your own rims. You could, uh, there's people doing it, they spray that, I don't know what kind of propellant they use for the inside of the uh, tire, but then they light it on fire and it instantly inflates and the whole thing jumps up and it's just super dangerous. Alternatively, you can grease the tire up and use crowbars and stuff like that. I, I'd rather just take it into a shop and just get it all done in one shot. It's just easier that way. So I got the tires in the back. The tires, did I say? <laughs> tires in the back and we are going to swap them out. And we're not going to put them on the car yet because we got to do the brakes. That's going to be next. Made in Japan, Yokohama's. We're doing summers, but um, you know, I actually don't know if you can pass inspection, even with good, new, correct size tires in the winter with summer tires. I need to check that out. I actually have not ever looked into that. One of the reasons we bought these ones, legit. E-code. This has an E4 on it, meaning that this is exportable to, or I guess importable, we'll say, to um, Canada and America. You know, legitimately, we are not skimping out. Um, I was just gonna get whatever's to pass inspection, but I just wanted to do it right the first time if I'm already going through all this effort. So we did go Brembo's. We're going Brembo's on the rotors, and we're going Project Mu, or if you don't know how to read the Greek alphabet, U, for pads. So this is the route we're going. Honestly, one, it's braking, so it's safety. You can't put a price on safety. And two, if you're already doing all this work, just spend the extra money to get something good. A little mini unboxing here. All right, yeah, nice. Don't embarrass me, we're filming. There we go. Oh, no grease. You know, it's good. It's good that uh, um, other stuff got in the way because I have to go to the store anyways, but yeah. Brombles. Okay, nice, nice, nice. There we go. Not beefy for a cappuccino, geez. Just do the exact same thing. So after you get these screws out, bum, bum, bum. there we go. Toast, rust right in there. It's like bugs in there, look at that. Cut a slice of this sweet Brembo berry pie. Oh yeah, oh yeah eh? Uh, Brembo's even engraved on there. I've never swapped out Brembo. I've owned cars that had Brembo's before, but wow, yeah, beefy. Okay, okay, that's some good stopping power. That's pretty much this episode. We're done the brakes. We did the pads, we did the rotors. Uh, we got new tires on there. That is it for now. If you guys have any other suggestions of what we should do with the car, any other pointers, that stuff I'm missing. We're not professionals. I'm not a professional by any means. It's just a combination of basically Lego building, uh, taking a part off, putting that part back on, and just a lot of YouTube and asking my buddies uh, questions and uh, getting pointers that way. So yeah, help us out to let us know if there's anything else we should be doing that uh, we haven't been doing, any parts we need, anything else we should do while we're kind of burying in there. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode.
We definitely took a little bit of a hit in this episode with a set of tires including dismount and mount and disposal at $474.60, front brake pads and rotors totaling $197.83, and finally the rear pads and rotors at $226.85 bringing our total to just under three grand at $2,900 or around 2300 US.